Well, today is Thursday. I've just had confirmation. Thursday, the 6th of April, 2023. And we're back in Clark's Village. We haven't been here for a while, but it's uh, always good to be back. And it looks as though there might be a little bit of a market, Say actually, hi, uh, hi, in street hi. today. So we've got all the family with us, and, uh, well, let's go. So when we're in Somerset, uh, Clark's Village is always one of the places we, we like to visit. Uh, but as we drove in today, we noticed that there's some sort of a market on and the, the main street in street is closed off to traffic. So it'll be interesting to investigate what's going on there. So that's where we're actually going to head off to first. So we're actually going out of the Clark's Village to start us off. And uh, we'll try and come back a bit later on. And uh, Luna's got her little bicycle that she can scoot along on. One of our favourite shops here, The Work, sells uh, stationery type things, books, and uh, lots of games and things that uh, we like to get for the children. We've just been to Rugby Tots with Luna and they've been training with the uh, professional rugby players from the Exeter Chiefs. So uh, that was quite exciting this morning. And that was just down the road in the Millfield Prep School. So uh, that's why we're down in street now to have a look at uh, what's going on here. So the Millfield Prep School is in Glastonbury. Uh, Glastonbury and Street are very close together. So we won't know about this market. This just is a bit of luck, I think. So uh, yeah, that's where it all starts. And there's plenty of stalls. So we'll have a look and investigate to see what, uh, what's going on here today. Mike. So we've got food and the first one we've come across is burritos and they smell delicious. We'll soon be looking for lunch. It's uh, actually one o'clock so uh, let's see what we're going to do. Ooh, and there's another one that smells really good, the Parsons nose. <laughs> and what have we got to cook on? A paella pan, but it's not a paella in there. There's burgers and sausages and all sorts of things. But good to see paella pans. Reminds us of home. And uh, first of all along here actually is a charity store. This is the uh, Salvation Army. One that we do support from time to time in Mallorca. Right, I'm going to make my way down there. Anita, is that all right if I make my way that way? Yep. Yeah. And decide so. what you want to eat on your way down. Oh, it all smells good, doesn't it? Mm. So I'm going, to, I'm going to make my way down and uh, maybe look at a few shops on the other side. Uh, we've done this side here. One, one that I like, actually, this entertainment exchange. Um, sometimes have interesting cameras or lenses for cameras. And uh, not particularly this one, but the one in Yeovil, I did actually buy a huge lens, 600 millimeter lens. Can't see any cameras in there today. It's not for me. I'm coming up. So mainly mobile phones and game consoles. That that really doesn't interest me. But uh, it looks an interesting sort of market actually. This is not quite what we were expecting, but uh, those are the sort of things you can cut out with this laser I'd machine. Can you make them? Yeah, well, yeah, you can cut them out. They can be cut out on something like plywood or MDF. Are you 
YouTuber, are you, sir? I am, I am indeed, yes. <laughs> what do you do on your YouTube channel then? Mostly Mallorca, Spain. Oh, yeah, yeah. But we're on holiday, so we're in street today, so okay. we're, we're doing street. Yeah, fair game. Yeah. What's your channel? Steve and Anita. Right, okay. In Mallorca. Steve and Anita in Mallorca. Steve and Anita. That's in Anita. Mallorca. I'm Steve. All right, Anita. So you, you can you can look us up and become I a will do. become a subscriber. I will do. Oh, <laughs> is your, yes. Yeah. Oh, do you dry robe? Do you dry robe? I'll do everything, young lady. Right, <laughs> get a bit of Steve and Anita in Mallorca. Definitely. There they go. Two bare feet. There we go. <laughs> but it'd be a bit warm for us. <laughs> Mallorca, one of those. Oh yeah, but it does get cold at night, doesn't it? <laughs> Perfect for when you come back from one of those clubs late at night. Late at night when we've just been down here <laughs> yeah. in Magaluf. Yeah, a bit of the old Magaluf. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, it's the cherry tree. Ah, lots of hedgehog food. Hmm. Oh, and plants for Anita. Slowly, huh? slowly Luna, slowly, <laughs> not too fast, you'll be on YouTube. <laughs> oh, not knitting for Anita. She's already started, I think. There are ducks. Ducks with wellies. Don't go too close. <laughs> Beautiful woodwork here. Somerset Deli. Fruit and veg at the end. What do you fancy? Some eggs. Eggs. We're out of eggs, are we? Yeah, well, yeah. we've got a few, but I will want to bake a cake and then we won't yeah. have enough for breakfast. She gets six eggs. They cost two guineas. Yeah. Hey Dad, just going to the park. We'll go to the park, shall we? We've just come into Clark's Village, and uh, first thing that we come to really is the the children's play area. So we're going to give uh, Luna a bit of a break. Lots of things for her to go on here, while the uh, the adults can sit and uh, well, maybe have a cost of coffee or something else. This is where the toilets are as well at this end of the woods. End of the woods? End of Clark's village. So it's King Arthur's Forest is the name of this park and it looks like really great fun for the children. Well, Luna's gone in there, and uh, we'll uh, we'll just sit around and, and wait for us to have a bit of fun in there. 
So the Costa Coffee is actually inside a homeware pavilion, which sells uh, pillows and blankets and all sorts of other things for your home, but uh, sometimes go in there and have a coffee. But it's generally uh, an outlet place, so you get all of the famous names, if you like. So here's Jack Wolfskin. My kind of shop there, men kind, it's sort of all sort of gadgets and silly things for men. Are you allowed to have men kind? Hmm. Is that woke? Is that correct politically? Yeah. Anyway, it's all sorts of fun things. It seems, it seems I've lost the family already and I'm only taking three steps. They'll be following up very, very shortly. But Clark's Village is named after the shoe company Clark's, and so as you'd expect, there are Clark's shops here. We've just had an order from a friend of ours in, in Mallorca and said, can you find me some red shoelaces? Red shoelaces, that's going to be an interesting one. Here they come. There's Luna zooming down on her bicycle. Stop. <laughs> so lots and lots of outlet shops, lots and lots of uh, different things you can buy here. It's mainly clothes and centripetal force. I always like to go to the uh, Marks and Spencers here. Just have a look and see what there is. Luna. Luna. So there's Scotch eggs or there's Greek wrap. There might be something around the corner. I really don't very much. Something to make a chicken pie for tonight. We don't need any. No, we don't really want a, another. They've got toasties around there. Maybe. I don't think anything's actually grabbing me on the food line yet at all. No. You don't want that Greek thing. Pardon? The Greek thing, you don't want that. So, uh, Selena's, oh, Selena, what is Luna's decided we're going to be playing table football and uh, I think she's winning. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, go on, you merely got that one. <laughs> oh, goal! Go, 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 go! Oh, we've got the championship game now. Luna and uh, Anita there playing the football here in uh, Street, the Clark's Village. Oh dear, I don't think Nana's very good at this. One more go. And the girls are now going to go off and do their little bit of shopping, and uh, I'm going to go off and just have a little wander around. So I'll catch up with you at three o'clock, my dear. Three o'clock outside next. Is that all right? Fine, yes. Have fun. <laughs> laces. Don't, don't spend all the money. We've got, oh, yeah. got to get some laces. Right, I'm going to go in search of laces or something. I don't know. Don't forget the bike. Three o'clock outside next. It gives me time just to have a little wander around and see what I can see. See you later. Nice murally things there. Mm. 
We've got the vans and the North Face. And quite an amazing place here. This is uh, Jeff Banks and it's Suits Direct. Suits from £89. <laughs> I actually managed to find a suit that fitted me. It's amazing. It's a really good place that. Timberland. And I've been there and uh, had a pair of trainers from there. My favourite place. We were going to go here but um, I need to going to make a pie tonight. Uh, so it didn't really seem to make sense to have a Cornish pasty. But this is the Cornish bakery, bakery and uh, we've had Cornish pasties here before and they are absolutely delicious. So I'm a little bit uh, sad. I'm not going to actually get my Cornish pasty but we'll get a good look at them here. Look, I've got all these things in the window. They're called scones. Anybody who thinks they're called scones, you want to pick up a stone or two, or oh, stone or two. Let's just have a quick look in here, quick look at the, look at those. Well, I think that's about as close as I'm going to get today because uh, I've been warned off. So where will I go for laces? I think I might have to find my way to the Clark's shop and uh, see what they've got in the way of laces. Traders is uh, one I quite like to go into sometimes. They have some shirts in there. I might just have a quick look, see if they've got anything for me. Half price always sounds good, doesn't it? Well, not today. We can keep looking. Last time we were here, we got to about this point. And we built, bumped into Alex, who's uh, another YouTuber in Mallorca. What a coincidence is that? It's crazy, isn't it? It was really chilly earlier on, but uh, the sun's come out now and uh, it's not feeling too bad. It's Mountain Warehouse, sort of a camping sort of shop, sort of place I like. Although maybe our camping days are over, I don't know. And across there, that's Cadbury's, that's, uh, that's Serena sort of shop, I think. Won't be allowed in there. Pro Cook. I think we've been in there a few times with Serena and what various different things. Oh, what she needs is teaspoons, but that was not from here. Hmm, yeah. There's 
the Haribo shop and get all the sweets. And Hallmark cards. If you're in Mallorca, you need to go to the Lion shop for cards. That's in Palmanova. Got a great selection and you'd be donating some money to a really good cause. So that's the Lion shop. It's on the road that goes down from the roundabout to the front. We've actually got three shops now. They've got a general shop. Uh, they've got uh, a shop that sells books and another one for cards. Another couple of shops I like. There's Sports Direct. And next, sometimes find a bargain or two in there. I've got to come back here later on, but I'll have a quick look now. Well, we've had a little walk around the street. We've been around Clark's Villages uh, Village and we've had a bit of fun. And of course, Anita's spent loads of money. Oh, jewels. Oh, yes, she's definitely spent lots of money. Anyway, thanks very much for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye, -bye, bye for now. Bye.